Why would someone start a record company not to make money? They were fans. I think they were just records that they wanted to hear. So they decided they were going to make them. And they didn't know anything about making records. Without Blue Note, you probably would have never heard of Monk. Big companies, they wouldn't record Monk, but Alpha did. They understood the value of trusting in the musicians. I think you have to understand an artist to uh, really get something out of it. Alfred and Frank, I never got a sense of pressure from them to create in any particular way other than whatever might come out of me. It's a little thing we recorded on, and I say it now, Blue Note. <laughs> Blue Note Records. We sincerely hope you all buy these records. God knows we need the money. Any record we ever made, we never were really figuring on a hit. If later on the thing became successful, it just happened to become successful. Frank would be walking around taking photos, but when the music got good, he started dancing, trying to dance. <laughs> hey, Wayne. Who's this? It's <laughs> <laughs> Frank <Wolf. laughs> If you played and Frank was dancing, that was the tape. I fell in love with jazz through hip hop. What is this? Herbie record. Bam. Minute. Groovy, groovy, jazzy, funky. To me, hip hop is definitely connected to jazz in terms of what it does. Blue Note Records became the go to. They liked it and they sampled it. Blue Note is the past, present, and the future. What they were searching for was to get the heart of the individuals creating the music. And that heart is affected by the times because we were living in it. How they affected the world at large through their social consciousness. When you hear these records, you feel what they strive for, what they were fighting to hopefully get to. I think there's a movement going on now, a great movement. You have all these other bands coming up that come from a jazz background. As soon as I put on the record, I'm just transported to a certain understanding of the world.